Thank you for joining in another webinar from MiraSkill. This is Bridge live from Bombay and today we are joined for a webinar on 11 steps to improve business writing skill by Richa Bhatta. I am the founder of MiraSkill and I handle the role of learners interaction. We strive to bring webinar and courses which add value to professionals. Here are my details on the screen. Please feel free to connect with me. Without any delay, let me invite Richa for today's webinar. Over to you Richa. Thank you, Bridge, and hello, everyone. I'm excited about these 11 steps to improve business writing. Why? We've all been taught to write at school, so business writing should be easy. But in reality, people find it very hard to write in a business context. Have you experienced the panic? Have you experienced that you know, after you worked on a project really hard, and you know you're familiar with all the details inside out, yet you feel it's your communication that stops you from getting all the credit. Because it's your inability to convey your message effectively. Meanwhile, someone else does the talking, someone else does the presentation, and he gets all the credit. Another time could be you have written an important mail to the super boss, and you constantly worry about the efficacy of that mail. Is the mail to the point? Is, I, is the reader going to understand what I'm trying to say? Am I making any grammatical errors? Is my structure correct? You could also have a situation where you are constantly doubting yourself about how, eff how effective the mail is to convey the message that you are trying to send to the reader. Is the message understood by the reader? In this session today where I explain these 11 steps to improve business writing, I hope to cover these following points. I want to take you through these points where I discuss the target audience that we are referring to, the purpose of writing a mail, getting a structure in order, how to be concise, how to be clear, how to avoid a sentence which contains redundancy, which contains repetition, avoiding starters in a sentence which are weak, which are ineffective, and then render your communication lay back, very passive. And in the end, we will look at certain common grammatical errors which I come across every day in the mails that I read. 